Alright guys, so I won't be wasting much of your time. I would want to do this uh, text animation and very briefly I'm going to show you how to do this within a minute. So let's get right into it. So I'm just going to get in here, go back into my file. So now we're inside the file and we have our text. Alright, so just type in your text. That's the first step typing your text I have my text here already so I'll just copy it let's zoom into that and then ensure that your text is center aligned all right don't put it on left aligned or right aligned except you want the text to flow from the left that is if this one change this other one comes in from that same position all right but center aligned because of the structure of the of the landing page all right you see how everything is centered so it should be that way so let's select this uh, put it center aligned and all you need to do now is right click and click on frame selection all right i'll just name this one and then duplicate the frame and in this one i will just put ui ux designer i'm a professional ui ux designer that's the second one the third one i'm going to use uh brand designer so we don't need to erase everything so brand designer in the in the example I posted on Twitter a while ago, it carried just two instances, but I'm adding more instances. So this would be motion designer because I just want that designer designer to be in it. So we have four, all right? And now um, we would need to turn this into a component. But before we do that, let's give them some colors. So for this one, I'm going to give it this orange color. So let me pick out that orange color, select this frame, break this and just change that to orange right and we'll do the same for this one as well we're going to pick um, let's pick a yellow because another color might not blend so well with the background and for this one I'm going to pick the background color and just look for a blue shade you know what we already have this color here so let's just brighten that a bit and we have this color Alright, so we have four colors now. This was the original component. You can see they are just two. Alright, so let's uh, go straight into turning this into a component and working with it. Well, first things first. When this text leaves, this is number two. Alright, this is two. This is number one. This is uh, three and four. So, the way these things work is you need to think about it how it's expected to operate so when this one is leaving the frame sorry if i select just the text when it's leaving the frame ensure you clip your text as well so clip content um so when it's leaving the frame what should come next so the the item that should come next should be this ui ux and so in order for us to have something seamless we're going to copy this ui ux designer copy the text come to this frame this first frame and paste it now use the navigation key and just move it downwards and hide it all right that's fine where it is and then the next screen when the ui ux is leaving what screen would come next the brand designer so copy it and do the same thing paste it in the ui ux the screen that would that would come uh, that would show after it that's fine we didn't clip the content that's why so once I clip it it disappears all right so I'm just gonna clip this one before I do anything again and then once um, the brand designer is leaving which one comes next the motion designer all right the motion designer comes next. so copy that paste it in here and just use your navigation key on your keyboard and just move it down whichever way you want place you want to keep it is fine all right and then once the motion designer is leaving which one comes next and it's very simple the first one comes because we don't have any one after that so we're going to copy this take it to the motion design because that's the one that would come in next and paste it there and then we can now send it downwards as well now with that we have everything complete but there's something i like to do i like to ensure that the other frames beneath it that is hiding all carry the same distance and what i mean is one is not far down than the other one so all I'll do is come to my frame layer here and check for the one that is down which is the react select that 
go to the next frame, which is this one, I would hold shift and control, or just hold shift and select, um, shift and control actually, select that. You see, I've selected the bolt downwards. I'll go to the next one, which one is hiding the brand designer, I selected that. The first one, I'll go there, the one that is hiding is the UI UX. And then in your navigation key, you can just press it for them to be on the same line. Now they are on the same line. And all I have to do now is just select all of them. So one, two, three, and four. And then go up here, click the drop down, and choose create component set. Now once we do that, we have them in a component set and now it's time for us to prototype this. So basically all you have to do is just select the first one, go to prototype, right? select the first one, move it to the next one, put it on after delay because you won't be clicking on anything, change this to smart animate and um, increase this to around 800 millisecond. Alright, you're going to do, the only thing you're going to do now is just change it the next one push it there change it to after delay the other settings will be there for you this is smart animate this is 800 millisecond and it's on ease out all right select the next one and do the same thing on click change it to after delay and just from the last one now this is the last one move it back to the first one this is because you want the process to still repeat you don't want it to get to motion design and stop so it's going to repeat the process again so you send it back to the first one which is on after delay and that's all now the first one already has a prototype so it continues the prototype for you and that's the reason why we always take it back to the first one but if you don't want it to repeat that's up to you if you just want it to show just once two times and that's all that's fine all right so we click on design and now we're going to choose another frame uh let's use the same frame so we're going to select this duplicate this frame and i will just grab one of these so click on the first one hold alt and duplicate it just drag it out all right now we have a copy of it move it into our frame you see it is the one that is highlighted so select the second one and get rid of it whatever design you did so let's change this to um Davio. a professional react js blah 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 all right and that's it so select your frame and now you can play your prototype and let's see uh what we have all right so that is it guys and that is how you can create this text animation you can reduce the timer instead of using 800 millisecond you can use 500 or you can use 300 you could test it you could go higher you could go lower to see which one works or gives you that seamless process I hope this has taught you something and I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.